Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, another Elite mode. And as you can see, I'm dressed as Sherlock Holmes because I won 20 golden rings. I collected all the stars on the cases I did on the Elite mode, and I got the Sherlock outfit and the hat and everything else. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go and do case 56 in Pacific Bay in elite mode, killer above us. Now I don't want to look at who's the killer. I'm trying to forget, try to forget. Um, forget, forget. <laughs> Previously, a criminal case. So, Danny, we know there was a mastermind giving orders to Luis de Rico. Now we just need their name. Oh, it's someone you know very well, Commissioner Katarina. Someone who kept Luis informed of every new lead you had concerning his big heist. heist. But I'm not telling you their name in the cell. Commissioner Katarina, take me to your police station and I'll talk. Katarina, I don't trust this creep. Why don't you go ahead to the station and let Andrea know about this? I'll take care of escorting Danny. <laughs> oh yeah, the previous case was before that we investigating we investigated a casino break in, the heist. Katarina, I hope Danny will have the answers we need. We gotta figure out who was really behind the Menagio heist. And we also need to figure out if they are the ones who stole the plutonium from the casino's vault. Oh yeah, the razor's in plutonium and not the money itself. I don't like the idea of Frank escorting Danny on his own. I better radio him. Frank, do you read me? What's your location? I hear you, Andrea. We're driving over the dam. We should be there in 10 minutes. That's if my whiny passenger doesn't need another toilet break. What the? Whoa! Hold on! I can't- Frank? Frank! What's going on? Answer me! Frank is- Frank is in trouble. The radio is dead. Katarina, do you think- Frank said they were crossing the dam. Take Amy with you and get there as fast as you can. On my way, chief. Let's go investigate the dam. Dressed as Sherlock Holmes. What? This arm pretending to have a pipe. And... So much for learning who the sixth person in the East was. Frank! Frank! Where are you? Katarina, can you see him? Oh god, I hope he's alright. Ah, there he is. Ugh, could you stop shouting, kiddo? My head feels like a truck drove over it. Frank, you're alive! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, but Danny? Danny's dead! Frank, what happened out here? Who killed Danny? All I can remember is the car tires blowing out, and then someone knocked me out. Frank, Katrina's right. I'm sorry, but we are going to have to interrogate you. You're our only witness. Good thing, Katrina. We better get Danny's body to Roxy and see what she can tell us. You also found a spike strip on the road. You're right, this must have been used by the crew to blow out the car's tires. There's some kind of substance on it. Let's collect the sample, Katarina. Whoever killed Danny must have been pretty desperate to attack a police car. One thing's sure, we're up against a killer with something to hide and nothing to lose. That's right. So, what happened to Danny? Whoa, Katarina, this brother is shocking. 
I mean, I was electrified. I say Danny was electrocuted, but with what? Well, from the burn box on his chest, it's obvious he was zapped with a stun gun. Oh, a stun gun? But are they designed not to kill people? That's what's so awesome. The girl must have modified the stun gun so that the voltage would be high enough to kill. Of course you have to find the actual murder weapon to see how they did it. But one thing is certain, your killer knows electronics. Ha, huh. this killer might know their way around a circuit board, but no one is better at an old fashioned murder investigation than Katarina. Yeah. Alright, let's collect whatever that is from the spikes. Nice work collecting that sample from the spike strip you picked up on the crime scene, Katarina. Let's get to Jan. Yes. Alright, let's go to Frank. Tell us, dude, what happened. Frank, you need to tell Katarina everything you remember about the attack. I don't know what happened. One minute I was driving Danny over the dam, the next the tires exploded. When I got out of the car, no one was there. Then I got hit on the head and blacked out. Did Danny have time to tell you who the sixth man, the person who kept Louis in front of our progress is? Is it someone from the police station? He didn't say, but he told me something else. He mentioned the his team dumping some of their equipment at the Paradise City junkyard. If the killer is tied to the heast, maybe you'll find a clue there. Not bad for an injured detective, eh, Katarina? Not bad indeed. Come on, Katarina. Let's go check out this junkyard. Yeah. Still like my detective outfit. Look at this junkyard, Katarina. It looks like a place where all casinos come to die, and where his team dump their stuff, apparently. Nice find. That briefcase has our witness's name on it. Think you could get it open? I bet you can. What's that weird lump of wood you've got there? Some sort of puzzle? That's right! Danny was a math genius. Maybe this is related to him. Let's dust it for fingerprints. Yeah. Let's unlock Dennis's briefcase first. What's this? What's on that piece of paper you found in Dennis's briefcase, Katarina? It looks like some super complicated design for a machine. Most of the annotations are faded, but I know you'll uncover them in a flash, Katarina. Yeah. Alright, let's unlock this cube puzzle. 
Oh, we're not. We're just gonna dust it for fingerprints. Great job. You managed to get some fingerprints off that puzzle game you found at the junkyard. Let's cross-reference them in the database. That's right. Okay, now let's dust this. Secure plutonium container. Oh! Oh dear, the drawing you found in Dennis's briefcase is for a machine that requires plutonium. Do you think this could have, have something to do with the plutonium that was stolen from the Menagios' vault, Katarina? Of course you're right. This is too much for coincidence. This drawing and the hues must be related. Great idea. Let's give this to Hannah and see if she can tell us anything more about this design. Yes. Eighteen hours, wow. Okay, now the fingerprint. Who touched this cube? Happening. The fingerprints of that puzzle game you found in the junkyard belong to Russell? This must be a mistake. There must be some logical explanation for Russell's fingerprints to be on Dennis's puzzle. An explanation that isn't him being the sixth man. Let's interrogate him and see. I guess we don't have a choice. We have to interrogate Russell. I'm sure he'll set us straight. All right, let's go to Russell. Um, Russell, we found this puzzle. We think it belongs to our victim. What are your fingerprints doing on it? Oh, you found that. Well, I have nothing to hide. It was a gift from Danny. A gift? You knew the victim? We weren't friends or anything. I bumped into Danny when you first investigated him, Katarina. He was the cleverest person I'd ever met, and that's saying something. We talked, and before he left the station, he gave me that puzzle as a challenge. I sold it in two minutes and forgot about it. And it somehow ended up next to Dynasty's briefcase in a junkyard on the other side of the city. Russell, are you sure you're telling us everything? Hey, Amy, there's no need to fret. I had nothing to do with Dynasty's death, Katarina. But I'll enjoy seeing you crack the case. <laughs> What's this substance? The substance you brought me was so potted I had to crack a window open, Katarina. Turns out this substance is whiskey, the strong and expensive kind. Where did you find this stuff? It came from a spike strip the killer used to stop Frank's car. Well, that can only mean one thing. You're looking for a killer who drinks whiskey. And Frank drinks whiskey. Haha, <laughs> either that or Frank's actually the killer. We know how much he loves whiskey. Sorry, Katria, that wasn't funny. Anyway, the killer won't drink whiskey for much longer. Not with you on their, on their trail. And so far, all the suspects are our colleagues. All right, now what's this supposed to mean? Katarina, I... I don't understand. Where did you find this drawing? We found it in our victim's briefcase. Why? Do you know what the machine is for? Well... yeah. It's a project I've been working on. What? What? You're saying this drawing is yours? Yes, but I don't understand why it was in Dennis's briefcase. It should be locked in my desk drawer. Nobody knew about it. I... 
Look, Hannah, Katrina's right. This is too big to ignore. I'm going to officially interrogate you. Uh, dear. Can you explain this to us? Hannah, can you explain why you are planning to build a machine that requires plutonium? And why we found the design in our victim's briefcase? Look, I have no idea how it ended up in there. Danny... Danny must have stolen it when he was at the station for interrogation. But what about the plutonium? Were you the one who stole it from the casino vault? Of course not. Katrina, I would never do that. Getting plutonium legally is near impossible, but I still won't resort to stealing it. I've been working on that machine for months. It's a new type of database, so powerful that, with the right source of power, it could answer any question you ask. Okay, Hannah, I hope we don't find anything else connecting you to Dennis's death or the plutonium theft. I don't want to arrest a member of our team. Katrina, I don't know what to think. Hannah needed the plutonium for her machine. Could she have organized the heat to get it? Oh my. No, you're right. We must have let Dance's accusations drive us apart. It'll take more than this to make me doubt our team. Wait, at the office? What a morning. A few hours ago, Danny was on his way to tell us who the his sixth man was. And now we are investigating his murder. And the clues we found point to our teammates. Frank was the one driving Danny to the station. But Kieran knocked him out cold. Hannah can't possibly be involved, so she needed Plutonium for her new database, and Plutonium was stolen from the vault. But that's just a coincidence. And then there's poor Russell, getting himself mixed up in this. So he accepted a gift from the victim. What's wrong with that? All this makes me worry that Danny was telling the truth when he implied someone in the police station was feeding information to Luis de Rico. No, that's nonsense. No one in this police department could have been involved. Katrina, I just got the report that there's a spike stream missing from our armory. Didn't you find one at your crime scene? Oh my gosh, it was. Yes, but the spike stream we found was used by the killer to stop the car. It can't be the same one, unless unless Akira has access to our armory, which means Akira is someone from our team. Oh dear. Oh shit. All right, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in chapter two. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.